Hi everyone, I have a quick message here. Not sure who this is for, but I feel like someone here is was in Queen of Cups energy. This could be male or female, but I feel like someone here was trying to get someone to notice them, trying to get someone from their past to come back around. I feel like you might have even been doing reconciliation magic. I feel like you were just really trying to manifest this person back. It's like you see how he or she is kind of waiting. You see this energy where it's like someone's emotional and vulnerable and open. They're not chasing, but they're just sort of waiting. They're they're trying to it's like you were trying to find a balance. You didn't want to chase this person, you didn't want to overdo it. But you really wanted them to get it together. You wanted them to appreciate you. You wanted them to love you. You wanted them to see what was right in front of them. And for some, it's like they either, you know, just saw you as a friend. Or for some, I feel like maybe they... I hate to say it, but for some, I feel like they were physically abusive. I feel like some of you are trying... This is just for a couple people, but I feel like some of you are trying to manifest someone back that was like physically or verbally abusive or um and this is just for a couple of you but there's there's a couple stories here or you're just trying to manifest someone back that like didn't really appreciate you didn't really love you the way that you wanted to be loved you know it's like almost like they didn't feel lucky to have you like you hoped that they would see you as this queen of cups but it's just like you know it's it, they just didn't there's some good energies here though let me let me get into it but it's like you try to find this balance between giving and receiving. And I feel like at some point you just got in this Queen of Wands energy. Um, male or female, Queen or King of Wands. It's like so at some point you just kind of um, stepped into your power. It's like you stopped waiting over here. You kind of just stepped into your power. And I feel like this person still didn't see you. And I know this is starting out very sad, but it does have a hopeful ending. So let me just get it and just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger here, okay? But it's almost like you went from Queen of Cups to, to being the Queen of Wands. It's like you realized that that energy was not working, like they were not chasing you. So you kind of stepped it up a little bit. It's like you really fought to get their attention. I feel like you might have done reconciliation magic on this person. Or, like, you've just really been putting a lot of energy into manifesting this person back is what I'm getting for whoever this is for. Um, I really don't know who this is for. This is just a random message for someone on my channel or maybe for a few people on my channel. But it's like you had to, like, do... You, you had to do more than you should have had to do to get this person's attention. And I feel like you ended up... You or this person ended up in Nine of Swords energy. It's like anxieties, worries, doubts, fears... I feel like you went through a period of depression over this person, too, when you just were really broken over this. Like, you were just really, like, you kind of, you see that broken mirror, too, that could be relevant to somebody. I just feel like you really hit rock bottom here. And I feel like you came out of this energy and you planted these seeds. It almost gives me, like, Sandy from Greece energy. But you know what, like, okay, I love musicals, but I honestly was not crazy about Grease just because, like, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, but it's, like, she has, like, he treats her like shit the whole movie, and then at the end, she has to, like, change everything about herself to get his attention. You know what I mean? It's, like, she, she has to really play these games because of his insecurities and his emotional unavailability. You know, that's one thing I didn't like about the message of that movie, and it's kind of like the same energy here where it's, like, you're bringing yourself out of this energy, but you're still, um, it's almost like you had to change for this person. Like, you couldn't just be emotional and vulnerable. You had to, like, you're having to go out of your way to get this person's attention. Maybe you had to try to make them jealous, or you just really had to step it up. And it's like, why didn't they just love you and see you as you were right off the bat? Why did you have to do all that? You know, it's like you're coming out of this phase of depression and anxiety, and you're planting the seeds for love. That's why I feel like some of you are doing magic to manifest this person back. It's like you're planting the seeds and you're praying for this. You're praying for love. You're praying for this person to come back to you. You're praying for this person to, to step up and treat you as you deserve to be treated. You're praying for this person to, you know, love you and give you what you deserve. And I feel like, okay, see here we have the Knight of Cups. This is someone making, this is, you know, someone making a love offer. Look at this person. This person's just like, 
this is you coming into this intuitive emotional space and this is also someone making a love offer here to like soulmate or twin flame energy with the two of cups but it's not going to be who you think it's going to be it's not going to be a king of wands actually it's going to be a king of pentacles you know, you've been doing all this, all this love manifestation, but you're doing it for someone that was abusive with you or someone that didn't appreciate you or someone that just didn't really love you or someone that didn't really understand you. Someone that just, you know, I, I know you guys don't want to hear it, but it's almost like you just... You, you did all that inner, all that energy work, all that effort for someone that maybe cheated on you or abused you or you know abandoned you when you needed them or maybe someone that just um i'm getting abuse for some of you like i hope that you guys know that you deserve better than that because i'm getting a couple of you here watching this person actually physically hit you and it's like you can do so much better than that you know you can have someone that doesn't do that to you you can have someone that would never imagine doing that to you you know, like, don't go back to old familiar patterns, please. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Um, you might be... So I'm noticing this. This is relevant. This could be relevant. Ooh, this could be relevant to someone, this symbol right here. For some reason, that's, like, really standing out to me for this person. Um... Appearance, too, could be even, you know, we've got the King of Wands and we've got the, got the King of Pentacles. But, but yeah, it, it's like this, this King of Wands, I just feel like they were cocky or narcissistic or emotionally unavailable. Like, they just did not love you properly. Like, you kept, you had to do so much to try to get their attention. It's like you had to beg them to love you and beg them to, to notice you and appreciate you when it's like... You know, it's like, I hate to say it, but I don't feel like this King of Wands saw a future with you. Like, whoever this is for, I hate to say it. I don't think this King of Wands, I feel like this King of Wands had feelings for you, but I don't think that he, like, how do I explain it? I think that he liked the idea of you, but he didn't, I don't know. There's just something that was off there. It's like there's, there's an imbalance there is what I'm getting. This King of Pentacles is going to actually love you for you, though. This King of Pentacles is actually going to appreciate you and love you just as you are. You know, so I feel like you've been doing all this, inner, this energy work, all this manifestation, all this manifestation, praying for this person to come back. Um... You know, just almost like obsessing over this person, just trying to manifest them back. And you're praying to the universe for true love. And, you know, your prayers are being heard. But if this person is not able to match that vibration, if this person is not able or willing to step up and love you and match your energy and really treat you the way you deserve to be treated, then the universe is going to bring you someone else. So it's like your prayers are being heard, but they're just not being answered in the way that you thought they were going to be. So it's not this person you thought it was going to be. It's actually this King of Pentacles over here. And you're going to be starting a new life with this person. Um, I feel like this King of Wands, though, is probably at some point going to come back with a, with a very direct message that you're not expecting. Page of Swords here. And you're going to have to be the High Priestess and use your intuition. Because for a lot of you, it's like this is coming in quick. Knight of Wands, like fiery passionate feisty energy it's like it's like they didn't want you when they had you but now that they see you with someone else it's like the forbidden fruit must be tasted <laughs> it's like they you know they didn't want you but they don't want you with anybody else either like they didn't want to commit to you they didn't want you know to plan a future with you but they don't want anyone else to either it's like and then they get jealous it's like this person is just very immature this person wants what they can't have this is probably someone who's, like, never been married, never been in a long relationship. Um, and I, I'm, I'm not knocking, like, I, I mean, I'm not knocking people that haven't been in long relationships. But I'm just saying this is, this is someone who hasn't been in a long relationship because they get bored and they want to move on to the next thing. Like, this, someone that, this is someone that does not have a lot of emotional depth. This is someone that is not very loyal. 
this is someone who probably just like maybe like inexperienced um but but you're gonna have to be the high priestess here because you might get a sudden message from this king of wands after this king of pentacles comes on in and you're starting a new life with the king of pentacles you know this this king of wands might come in very passionate fi uh, fiery trying to you know pull you back in and you're going to need to make a judgment call and you might you're probably not fully expecting this you're probably thinking you're, you know you're trying to manifest this king of wands back right now even though intuitively i feel like you know this person is not your match i feel like intuitively you know that this person is abusive physically or verbally this person did not appreciate you this person did not love you this person put you down this person might not even be capable of love like this is someone where it's like they never said they loved you. Like you had to say it to them, but like they never said it back, you know, or like they like never made it official with you or something. And you kept thinking like, oh, any day now they're going to ask me to be um, their girlfriend or their boyfriend. And they just never did. You know, it's like they just kind of wanted. To, I don't know. I, I just sense them like I just sense you guys having different motives in this connection is what I'm feeling here. But yeah, when this when this message comes in, you're going to need to make a judgment call here. You're going to need to make a judgment call because you're going to find yourself in like a three of cups situation. Um, third party. Three of cups is often third party sometimes. And, you know, someone is going to get hurt. Someone is going to be upset. But you're going to need to make a choice. Seven of cups. You're going to need to make a choice. It's like this person, you're going to get justice because this person's going to realize the potential that was there. This person's going to realize that they could have, it's, it's almost like a, how do I explain it? It's, it's almost like the, the shadow side of the King of Wands almost. It's like this person is, it's like someone who's like narcissistic, someone who's like, someone who's shallow, cocky. Um, and it's like at some point this person's going to realize that they could have stepped up and they could have made some changes and they could have been the King of Wands to your Queen of Wands. You guys could have been a perfect match. But, you know, they wanted to fuck around. So I feel like this person sleeps with a lot of people, too. I feel like they just, this is like someone who, like, I don't know. I just get the sense of, like, I'm hearing that they were, like, never married. Or, like, they, they would never get married. Like, this person might have told you, like, oh, hey, I'm never getting married. Or, like, I never want to get married. Or, like, like, they've never been married is kind of the energy I'm getting. Like, this is someone who's, like like panics at the thought of like living with someone you know this is someone with like major commitment issues but yeah they're gonna come back around at some point and they're gonna see that you know there might have been something here that they missed before but again i just feel like i just feel like you need to do some digging and really be honest with yourself don't go back to the past it's like i know you've been trying to manifest this person back but like do you want the person it's, it's like, what is the, it's a, it's a meme. I know it's ridiculous quoting a meme, but I think the quote is, I don't want the person who um, comes back. I want the person who never left. It's like, why did this person leave to begin with? Why did this person, why did you have to go from the queen of cups to the queen of wands? Why, why didn't they appreciate you in this energy? Why didn't they appreciate that vulnerability? You know what I mean? This king of pentacles appreciates it. Let's get some cards in the king of pentacles. You guys might be matching each other's energy where you both might have hit rock bottom around the same time and might have even gone through a period of financial struggle or just anxiety in general and having to let someone go, having to let a karmic go, possibly a karmic that, you know, you guys both fought for for a long time, possibly someone that was in emperor energy and now you're both letting go of that hangman, empress and emperor. Yeah, letting go of burdens, ten of wands. Show me the... um. Show me this King of Pentacles. Show me more about his energy, though. Yeah, new start, passion. You have to, you're... See, some of you are holding yourself back, though, with, um... With holding on to these old patterns or old people that are, you know, abusive or toxic or just don't want you and don't appreciate you. 
I hate to say it, but it's like a very one-sided connection with this King of Wands. It's like this person might have straight up told you like, hey, like I can't, I don't want to be with you. You know what I mean? And it's like you're, you're thinking that you're going to be able to convince this person or maybe if you just hold on. And it's like, why do that to yourself, though? You know what I mean? I know it's it's hard. Like the heart wants what it wants. Like you love who you love. But like, do you really want even if this king of pentacles or king of king of wands even if he did wake up like do you really want someone who like you had to convince to love you it's like you had to argue with this person and convince them of your worth like this is someone that like never wanted to travel with you they never wanted to go on vacations with you they had no interest in like doing anything except maybe like coming over and having sex or something is what i'm getting honestly for some of you it's like Like, do you really want that back? Do you really want that energy? Like, is that worth it? Don't you want the person who just realizes right off the bat what they have with you? Like, the person who's just all about you? The person who makes plans with you? And there is a lack of balance here. There is some kind of dishonesty Like, you wanted mutual give and take, but it's, like, now that you're using your intuition, you realize, like, oh, damn, that was, like, a one-sided connection. Like, yeah, show me more about the King of Pentacles, though. Yeah, you have justice. And this person's not going to let you go so easily. But I feel like, I really feel like with the wheel here and all the other cards here, I feel like you have some karmic cycles that you need to consciously wrap up. And I think... I think why the cards aren't showing me too much about the King of Pentacles is because they want you to do this for yourself. They don't want you to do this because, you know, you have this this charming, sweet, loving man coming in that's going to be, you know, financially well off and mentally, spiritually, emotionally well off and, you know, loving you and wanting to marry you, wanting to, to give you this future. It's like, like, yeah, you do have this King of Pentacles coming in, but I feel like your spirit guides want you to just know what you deserve and do this for yourself. You know what I mean? Like, they don't want you to base this. They don't want you to just jump from one relationship to the next. They don't want you to... Um, it's almost like some of you, like, can't... Like, I know being alone is hard, but it's almost like some of you just... It's like you feel like you have to have somebody. You know what I mean? And it's like, like I get that. You do, but it's like... Just even if you have to wait for the right person, it's worth it to be alone for the right person. You know what I mean? Like it's worth it to wait for the person that's actually going to love you properly, you know? Because like I'm not one of those YouTubers that says like, oh, you have all you need or blah, blah, blah. Because it's like, you know what? That's not true. Like people need connection. People need love. People, you know, it's only human to be vulnerable and to need that intimacy. So like I get how, lo how hard loneliness is. I get how painful it is. It's hard. It's hard when you have nightmares and you wake up and you're just by yourself. It is it is so lonely. It is hard. But I'm just saying it's not worth it to go back to this king of wands that doesn't love you or appreciate you. Or this queen of wands, male or female. It's not worth it to go back to that energy. You know, it's like, you know, king of pentacles here, you know. It's like, yeah, you have this person coming in. And some of you might have to wait for this person a little bit. But I feel like they're coming in sooner than later. But I feel like there's a karmic test here. There's a karmic lesson here where, you know, your spirit guides don't want you to just let go of this king of wands and not do the shadow work and not deal with your emotions and just project everything you felt for him onto um, this person. For it's, like, it's almost like idolizing. It's like idolizing and like romanticizing people instead of just getting to know them. You know, like, and I, I'm sorry to call you guys out. I know you guys hate it when I call you out, but somebody needs to hear this, okay? Like, you guys know I'm honest, okay? And this is not for everybody, but for, for a couple people here, it feels like you jump from one connection to the next, where it's like you're in love with someone and then it doesn't work out, but then instead of, like, processing that and, like, really doing the shadow work and, like, thinking about it and processing you know just processing those emotions and thinking about what went wrong thinking about what you could do differently it's like you just meet someone else and you romanticize them and you project all of your feelings for this person onto this new person 
and there's no shadow work done there's no healing you know what I mean you're just like it's like okay bye like I found someone else now so I'm good and this time your spirit guides really want you to do it differently they want you to end this karmic um cycle for yourself you know what I mean like in the past it's like you've you've let go of people just because you had someone new to replace them this time they want you to let go of this old person for yourself they want you to cause this ending they want you to consciously decide to end this with this king of wands they want you to do this for yourself they want you to do this because you love yourself and know that you deserve more than what this king of wands was offering you you know they don't necessarily want you to be alone but they want you to be okay with being alone does that make sense it's like there's a difference you know like they're not expecting you to spend your life alone but they they don't want you to like panic at the thought of being alone for just a few months or so you know what i mean um and it, not that it's going to take that long i mean it might it might not but it, it's like they just want you to end this karmic cycle for yourself otherwise it's not genuine otherwise the karmic cycle is going to repeat because you're just projecting all these emotions onto this new person you feel me so you have to do the shadow work here you really need to do the shadow work if you want this justice here um you know it's like they want you to just they want you to know on your own even if there's no you know potential love option even if you're just by yourself for a little bit they want you to just know that you deserve more than this they want you to step into your power they want you to just do this for yourself it's not about somebody else it's not about you know who's coming in next it's not about what this king of pentacles is going to be about it's just about you know what you deserve and what you want it's just it's about you it's it's about you know you ending the cycle it's about you just knowing that you deserve more than this knowing that you'd rather be alone than deal with this energy anymore you know what i mean just doing this for yourself um just making these life changes on your own consciously because i feel like these karmic cycles have like these these relationships have ended in the past but it's like you didn't end them it's like the other person ended them or it's like the it wasn't like a genuine ending does that make sense and it's like the, the, your spirit guides really want you to like you know end this on your own i hope that makes sense as i always say too if you want a private reading just email me my email is dragon enchantress at aol.com but yeah you do have justice coming in here you know you do have justice but like i said i feel like they don't want me to say too much about the king of pentacles right now just because they don't want you to to jump from one to the next they don't want you you know being like oh, okay i can let go of the king of wands because i had the king of pentacles coming in and he's going to be loyal and brave and then you're going to fantasize about him and romanticize him and then you're not dealing with any of the motions from the king of wands it's like no they they want you to to see it as if you have no one as if you're just you're just like i said you're just doing this for yourself it's not about the king of pentacles or anyone else this is about you this is about what you deserve so i hope that makes sense um Thank you guys for watching.